We do have something similar. And what is similar about the United States is that we are all the king. We, the people. That's in the Constitution, right? We, the yeah. people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union and all the rest of that, <laughs> right? Amen. Right? We are the royalty in our in our country, in in our government. We are the ones who are the government. The Supposed to be. <laughs> the people, no, the people are the government. Yeah, now, the people select, or as we say, elect representatives. The representatives then represent us inside the deliberating bodies that we have established, Congress and the Senate. Mm -hmm. And then there's another one, that's the executive. And one more branch, can we tell me what the other branch is? There are four. Jesus Christ. Hey. <laughs> He's, He's a, a king. king. He's a king. He is a king. It starts with a J. You Can anyone do. tell me just, what the fourth branch? Judicial. judicial. Yes. Judicial. The judges. So we have four branches. <laughs> we do not elect judges. They are appointed by the, by the executive. The president. And then they are, um, they are vetted, if you will. Um, they're filtered by the Senate and the House of Representatives, and they are appointed for life. Yeah. The judicial is appointed for life. Now, House of Representatives and the Senate have two different terms. Two years for the House of Representatives, six years for the six, six years for the Senate. Correct. Is that right? Am I right? And in the executive, four years for president. Now, I want to, I want to, just step aside here in in discussing a little bit more about princes. Princes in the economy of God's word are the direct descendants. Many, many chapters are devoted to following various lineages. Everybody know what a lineage is? Through the family. That's the family going from Grandfather to father to son, son. to grandson, great grandson, and so forth. That's a lineage, okay, to following all of these. And there are many of them in here. Many, many. I'm not going to walk down any of those. In the Bible. I'm just saying, though, that. Well, I'm going to say one thing. But you can do it. You may say one thing. <laughs> <laughs> what about two things? No. Hey, <laughs> <right. laughs> two things. Tell me, I don't know. All right, you. Uh, you you're one of them, and you're a priest, and around this life in Arizona, so don't worry about it, to put your hope down. Okay. We need to put the hope, I mean, you know, I mean, me, you know, like I love my mom, not the long one. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for saying that. Our mothers that. count, too. too. Thank you for mm -hmm. saying that. You too. Yes. Now, Thank you, guys. <clears throat> so, in, in the lineage, just below the king, and his first offspring, male, if any of his male offspring would be princes. Yes. Very close to the king. Mm -hmm. Very close to leadership. Yes. And we don't have anything like that in our country. However, we do have something like that in our country. 
<laughs> and Amen. even though I say, no, we don't, yes, we do, and it sounds like your instructor is trying to hold <laughs> the world up like this, here's what I'm talking about. First of all, we do have people who are very powerful, like the king. Very powerful. In fact, a king and all of the realm that the king oversees is in, he's the most powerful individual in the realm, the most powerful. And then his princes come along and he will perhaps designate some of those princes to go out and to control various segments of his kingdom. They might control the manufacture of goods or services or maybe grow, uh, grow uh, corn and wheat and all of that sort of thing. Maybe they'll be industrialists, just a whole host of things. And there is a direct application here in this country. We have something like that in this country. People who have a lot of money can buy their way into <coughs> building cars and boats and planes and just all kinds of things. Or they can set up companies to do that for them. Well, they have a lot of leverage too. Yes, leverage is money. Mm -hmm. It's all about Very money. Very true. But now, Remember when I said that we can know that we're a Christian with four specific attributes that we ask ourselves about? The first one is our object. The object of all of this, uh, this 24-7, it's voluntary. Yes. Um, Jesus. And... Uh, Committing. Committed, yes. Committed, our, our commitment. 24. Okay, 24-7. Amen. To Jesus. Jesus. No, Jesus is... Go try to go through him. You could. Yeah, you can. I know. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We're just, we're just talking about Jesus, that's all. They're so, looking at the time. What we... What, what do we have only three minutes? Ten, uh, ten till. Okay. So, um, my friend, I was going to take care of you. You know, you got bum bum a minute. You got two hours. <laughs> yeah. He <laughs> says he'd like it if so he stay I, longer. Uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, uh, what I would day. like to do is I'd like to wrap this up with a recapitulation, or what. Uh, you probably are familiar with the word recap. 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 That means that's a short form of recapitulation. Recapitulation. Capitulate means to uh, give a give a away again. Recapitulation to give it back over again. To understand. To, to say it. To say it again. And. As teachers, as instructors, we learn early on three things. Tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them what you uh, told you. you. Tell them what you told them you were going to tell them. And then tell them what you told them. So it's tell them what you're going to tell them. Tell them what you said you were going to tell them. And then tell them what you told them. It's easy. It's a recap. Recap. A recap is the part where we are right now. Review. What what I told you. We started off by saying it is better to, to put your confidence in the Lord, Lord. Lord. instead of man. man. Instead of man. Okay. Instead of man. Now wait. I'm almost finished. But don't get mad at me. And then the <laughs> second one. Thank you. The second one was it is better to put your confidence in the Lord than in princes. Princess. Okay. Now. <laughs> the 
takeaway lesson here is to can anybody tell me what they are going to take away from this lesson? Don't all talk at once. <laughs> trust, trust in the Lord. Yeah. More better to put confidence in the Lord. He's the one that made it. Than in men. Men or princes. Princess. Men or princes. We'll get to the women aspect of it when I get to Ruth. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Ruth maybe next time. Yeah, so it's, it's interesting how the genetics go from a woman <clears throat> in the Jewish lineage to be a Jew. It goes to the, through the women as opposed to the men. I, I don't know. Yeah, it uh, does. You, you you may have a point there. I, that's not something that I uh, have studied too terribly much. Okay, so. I'll get him on it. One. Uh, Pastor, can I tell you one thing? Emergency? Well, I mean, not you have an emergency? No, no, no. no. Oh. Uh, thank God you guys are blessed. Yeah, all of us. Amen. This second this day. Thank you guys. Thank you guys. We are blessed. blessed. Amen. Amen. I know. I know. Thank you guys. You guys show up every, every Wednesday. Amen. Anyway, a big favor. I was wondering, not in the wrong way, in that sad way, that sad, you know, that, that war going around, what they're going to get from the war? It looks like they're going to get a big man from God. They're going to get a... They, they, they should just like hug each other, peace and love. What they're gonna get from you know Israel doing the, the, that? It makes me this cry. So, God's in control of that. No, I know, but we have to put our Here's, not not us, but you know the rest have to put the hand. So let me God let me suggest us, something for you. I'm and, gonna suggest something for you about the war. If you feel strongly about the war, pack your bags and go over there and fight. If you don't feel strongly. Uh, then stay know. away. Uh, yeah, I know. Stay away. Yeah, no, back off. I'm just saying, I don't know why you pray, pray for the good, for the bad. Yeah, I know we have to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But if we, I feel so, I said, why in the world? They think the guys are going to be a big man. Don't go there. Be anxious for nothing, but with all prayer yes, and okay. supplication, <laughs> make our requests known unto God. Yeah. He will handle it. He says, be anxious for Nothing. That means everything that we're afraid of, we lay it at the foot of the cross. Don't be anxious. And Jesus will Don't take care no, of it. I'm not, I'm sad. The yeah, it breaks his heart. But the thing 